Hi, I'm Rick Tapp, and today at Dinocom, we're going to be talking about Dinocom's Pod Series dinos. The advantages to pods is they can be moved out of the way in a small shop situation. Another advantage is high horsepower, high torque vehicles. You're going to eliminate any kind of tire slip to make sure you get all the torque in the measurement process. They also will eliminate any problems with having tire blowouts, since some tires don't like to be on a chassis dyno. We're going to be going over Mode 1 and Mode 2 operations and show you how those work. Mode 1 is simply the operation of the dyno without using the PC interface for control. It is used for quick diagnosis and ECU testing operations such as MBT tuning and cell-to-cell -cell editing for remapping. It is especially useful on vehicles where ECU tables can be edited live in operation. We are going to do an engine RPM step and constant speed test using the dyno's closed loop pit control. But first, let's get Spark set up on this handheld. So for this first demo, we're going to use the inductive pickup over a coil plug wire. It can also be used over an injector wire or a spark plug wire. On this 2019 Camaro SS, it is the purple wire that is the coil over plug control wire. The inductive pickup is not bi-directional, so it may be necessary to flip its orientation for correct RPM readings. It is important to have the cord free of all moving parts and not directly sitting on the vehicle alternator and ignition coils. Now we're going to navigate to the pit screen and select RPM as the control channel along with starting RPM. Pit mode off is where you're going to find this. Turn PID mode on, go down to our target, and we'll select 2500 RPM and hit OK. Now with our RPM set and we have selected OK, it is not necessary to hit the GO button. The test will start once the engine RPM hits 2500. Next up, we'll do a ramp test. Ramp tests are used to control the acceleration rate on a dyno and are common on most dyno systems. They are used to put adequate load on the engine to simulate operation over an RPM range that the engine would see in actual operation on the track. Depending on the axle torque on the vehicle and the size of the eddy brakes in the pods, a slow acceleration rate may not be possible. Always start with a higher excel rate than the vehicle would actually see during normal operation. So now, back on our PID mode off screen, let's navigate into the Excel by RPM. Right here. You can start this test really anywhere you want, but we're going to start this test at 2500 RPM. We're going to target 500.
a ramp test via RPM. So back on our PID mode screen, we're gonna navigate to Excel RPM. Select our start point at 2500. Set our target, we'll say 500. And now for this test, we cannot go past 2500 or the test will start. We wanna get up to gear and then hit 2500. Slowly push the throttle to the floor and it will hold us there for a period of five seconds, which that time frame is also adjustable. And after that five seconds, it will let us accelerate.